I'm neighbor Sharif. I'm neighbor Sean. We're coming to you live on Almost Tape from the beautiful lower Hudson Valley in Westchester, New York, where things get creepy here. Sometimes Mike. the lights go off for no reason. Mike, turns Woo! Mike, hey, Mike, the power Mike strip back you, just, on. you just, Mike, Mike, Mike. Party fail. Right. Mike, it's over here. All right. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we're going to start this again, apparently. <laughs> no, we're coming at you live from uh, the fence bar. This is actually, uh, so what you're looking at here is actually the fence that was put here to separate my property and Sean's property. That's my side. This is Sean's side. Yep. And something pretty special happened three years ago when I moved in, and I was doing a lot of work on the house, and every... A lot of work, people. A lot of clear-cutting. And all the time, Sean would be like, hey, man, want to grab a beer? Want to grab a beer? And I'd be like, sure. And yeah. Mike came over, <laughs> put a bar top on it, because it's a fence bar. Right? I mean, basically, we would say, hey, man, what are you doing later today? Do you want to have a beer at the fence bar? Yeah. And then Mike heard that, and he actually put a bar on it, people. Yeah. One of the coolest things about the whole fence bar is all the people we've met and all the neighbors. And it's been really special kind of yeah. bringing everyone over. All the neighbors started coming in and, and, and you start to realize that everyone has a contribution to make. Well, the beautiful thing about community is that people want to be a part of one. And when you create a, uh, I think I'm going to steal one of the beer noggin guys, uh, the third room? Third space. Third space, where uh, it's a pub, it's a coffee shop, it's a fence bar. It's a place where you can go, let your hair down, put your, your real life away, and commune with other people, and, uh, you know, enjoy life. We've gotten to meet a lot of awesome people. Um, yeah. Lex Taylor's here with Chancho oh. the Smoker. Yeah, Chancho! Chanchito! Chanchito, he's been roasting a pig since 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, Brendan and Doug from Beer Noggin are uh, also here. Thank you guys. Cheers. Thank you for your hospitality when we came on our road trip. And so uh, they treated us very our, well, our and they'll pleasure, treat you yeah. very well if you go to Beer Noggins in Bronx. Bronxville. Great dad hats too, by the way. Great dad Ooh. hats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> South dad Central hat. Westchester, across the street from the Bronxville <laughs> train station. That's right. Um, but there are a few weird things that we do here at Fence Bar. Uh, one of them, if you've watched the show before, is the dad light or the mom light or the mom light. And what is your dad light, Sean? And why don't we have any dad light glasses today? So normally we talk about glassware, and then we also will talk about a sidecar, which is a, like a rare beer that you circle. Well, what's happening this weekend on Monday? Memorial Day. Memorial Day. So what do you do on Memorial Day? You go to the beach, you go to the pool, you, you go party to with your friends, barbecues. All day. Yep. It starts at noon, and you want to be able to make it all day until you go to bed at nine o'clock or whatever, <laughs> however late you stay up. And we that's, might be a little later. And that's what we call a session. Well, you're having a session, and well, you need a session, a session beer. And one of the most popular styles of beers are session IPAs. You will notice these uh, beautiful cardboard boxes that once held session IPAs that we'll be talking about in Beer Brains. And but right now, I'm moving the them. first time. This, this is the first, first time, time we've had these on. And the reason we've had them on is because you don't buy a four-pack of sessions. When you're having a session, you got to start with at least 12. Yes. And you got to buy multiple 12s. Because a lot of people are coming, and you know that they're going to want to have some fun and have a session. And uh, and these are all sub-5%. I Wait, think these people? Session? No, Mike, not that kind of session. Not that kind right, of session, right, right, man. Right, right, right. Oh, God. Um, like but we're, we don't have the dad light glasses today because... You don't need them. You don't need them for the session IPA. There's no reason to be all uptight. You no, know, I want my beer. I want to be sure that I aerate it. So it's all about the news for me and IPA. Does that sound like Sean to you? <laughs> uh, I was doing an impression of myself. That's true. But uh, aside from the dad lights, we usually uh, also have a small glass. Oh, sidecar, which is what we call the sidecar. And your sidecar is? It's, it's the rare beer. It's uh, somebody like Chris Kovac brings you uh, some foam, and you want to share it with a certain amount of people, but you've only got 16 ounces. Yep. So, so everybody gets a little sip, a little and taste. you sip your sidecar along with your dad light. Or it's a high ABV beer. Maybe or it's, it's an expensive beer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that you want to share, but you only have a limited amount of, or it's very high in alcohol. Awesome. Uh, Mike, who's our sponsor today? Uh, well, we got a nice six little of Kelso. Kelso Pilsner! Oh, we got Kelso Pilsner on tap. <laughs> I say uh, Kelso, yeah. you say Pilsner. Kelso Pilsner. Kelso Pilsner. There we go. Um, yeah, so thanks, Kelso. Uh, Kelly and Sonia for are both here tonight, too. Here tonight. We actually have Kelso in the house. I actually had no idea why it was Kelso. I thought Kelso was your nickname, Kelly, and I haven't met your lovely uh, wife, Ooh. Sonia, Sonia until today. Runs the show, son. So Kelso is Kelly and Sonia. Kelso. Now you know, everybody. And knowing is that battle. Joe! 
<laughs> awesome. So today we've got Brendan and Doug from Beer Noggin. From Beer Noggin. Our, our, we do a segment that's called Meet Your Neighbors, and I think in just about two seconds we're going to meet some new neighbors. Let's bring these guys on. Come on, guys. Woo! Come on in. You, got hey, your, you know where you're marking, man. Remember to cheat Where's in. Yeah, yeah. Cheat in. Cheat in. That's right. Welcome, guys. Amy, uh, they're, they're thank looking you. good? Perfect. Oh, my. Perfect. You guys are you're, you're, you're pros. Yeah. Literally pros. Thank so a couple weeks ago, we went down to Beer Noggin. Uh, it's a yeah. great little place, and thank we you. had an amazing time. And um, we just want to get your impression of what it's like to have a beer shop in Westchester. It's really interesting. It, I mean, it is a great time to be drinking beer in uh, New York uh, in general. It's the best time. Yeah, it, you know, it this, really is. There's so oh. many amazing breweries opening, so much incredible beer being offered, um, and we're just so lucky to be able to offer that in a setting that we feel is pretty comfortable and casual. You Super. Know? It, it we're, is. Yeah. We're both a bottle shop and a, and a bar. So. Which means if uh, you're, you're able to yeah. buy the beer and consume it on-premise, or yes. you can take it with you and uh, take it home to have yeah. it to your own fence bar. Perhaps. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Brendan, how long have you guys been open? Uh, we're approaching three years. What? Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, June Congratulations. 23rd. Awesome. That will be the official date that we have our... Um, it's our anniversary party, oh, June 23rd. Yeah, June 23rd. June 23rd. June 23rd. Come down to Beer Noggin on June 23rd. It's Saturday. Oh, yeah. uh, it's going to be one hell of a party. It always is. It it's, always is. Yeah, I love it. Five great. days of work, one whole day to play. Come That's on, everybody. Right. Make right. that Saturday your three-year anniversary of Beer Noggin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Certainly. Um, so if you had to describe Westchester for someone who wasn't from around here, and we do have a lot of people who are new to Westchester, how would you describe Westchester to them? Well, neither one of us are from Westchester. Actually, we're un unfortunately two Jersey guys. I'm a Jersey guy. Cool. Jersey coming into brave. Westchester. Just don't drive near uh, me. Right. right. <laughs> what's right. It, like, I'm sure you have a, an impression, especially coming from New Jersey. Like, what's your impression of Westchester? Yeah, we love it. Yeah, I, as far as having a business here, we now both live here in Westchester. Uh, you're farther south than Westchester. I'm northern Westchester. Um, it, it's it's a wonderful, wonderful community. Some it really great is. People it's so, here. It, it, there really is great people, and it's uh, it seems like a very tight knit community as well. Yeah. Like, you know, wherever we go, or if if we, we were to you know ask recommendations, like everybody's got a recommendation for something, and it's all local business, which yeah. is really really yeah. nice. Yeah. Like, it, it's rare to experience um, you know a recommendation where someone's like, oh, go to this chain or that chain. It's always somebody's small little. Mom and pop shop. We, we, I was just talking with a friend, and they were suggesting an excellent, you know, mom and pop ramen shop. Oh, um, what was it? Yeah, uh, uh, it was, people uh, want to know. <laughs> Fuji ramen. In, uh, Fuji in Pleasantville. I, Pleasantville or Scarsdale or ramen. Uh, it's in West. Hey, does anybody know where Fuji ramen? ramen is? I haven't been there yet, but no? this no? this recommendation okay. came very very. Uh, yeah, apparently yeah, you like really it. wrote that <laughs> one. Down. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm not selling it, but the guy sold it to me. So. Well, that anyway, sounds good. I want to read up on it. Yeah, what's great about Westchester is is that community vibe and the fact that we've been so warmly welcomed into Bronxville's community mm -hmm. uh, coming in three years ago. This new type of business. It was a new style Concept. of business yeah. for for that area. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know. It, in, in that particular region of Westchester. Well, you really you used to work at a, at a bottle shop, that's where I met you yeah. originally, in uh, Grand Central. Yeah. Uh, beer. I used to work at Beer Table. Yeah. yeah such a fun little spot. That was kind of our intro to the Westchester community, uh, seeing the customers that were coming from New York City and going all up to Westchester. Metro so North, need a beer? People are grabbing yeah. beers on their way home. Why don't we hit them when they're... Well. That's awesome. That's yeah. a great concept. Yeah. Exactly door to door service. Yeah. 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 And you guys exactly. do get a big commuter population. Because Are you guys you're right next to the train? Right across the street. Right across. Yes. Yeah. Right across. Yeah. I mean, that's you a big thing. Trip down the platform. platform. A lot of suits. Like a, lot of suits yeah. a lot of suits coming off those trains. Yeah. A lot of thirsty suits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So um, we talked about tips a little bit, and one of the things we always ask our guests is, if you had a tip for someone about Westchester, what would your tip be besides Fuji Ramen? Yes. Right. Besides Fuji Ramen. Well, beer noggin. Beer noggin's yeah, a yeah, given. Frequent beer noggin as much as you can, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> um, no, uh, the, tip for, the tip for Westchester, for me personally, and this is from where I'm at in my life. I have a little, uh, little daughter, and we do a lot of family stuff. There's so many amazing, like, 
hikes and farms uh, yeah. and like family uh, activities yeah, where you could go out, well, trails to walk. What's nice about Westchester is that there, apple pickings yeah, and there's, whatnot. There's so much open space and there's so much again local business that you can make yeah. entire entire trips, entire weekends, entire days off of just going and bopping around from you know these individual locations and really supporting local business. That, yeah, that, that's great. That'd be my big tip. It's like support local here in Westchester because there is so much of it. And the people behind yeah. it are awesome. They're yeah. just like yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, they're 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 just yeah. fence bars, just like you. That's awesome. So uh, there we, we end go. every segment with three questions. Ask and him. this is the well. This he is the first time we'll he go. talks too much. This I guy. I want to hear what he says. We're, we're gonna do lightning round. So right. answer right. answer. We'll start with Brendan. Yeah. Uh, question number one. And it's kind of tough with people with bottle shops, but yeah. what is in your refrigerator right now? Right now! No lying, not what you wish you had, not what you right took from Beer Noggin. What's actually in your refrigerator? <laughs> I've got the shameless plug for Deccan and Ale's Pog Nog. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With us. Pineapple, is... <laughs> orange guava, double IPA, super juicy and delicious. 8.1% people, I know that. Juicy! That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Juicy! And, and then uh, some, some old school Brooklyn Brewery variety pack. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Back to lager and some Naranjito, Pilsner. And Pennadale? Do they still do the Pennadale? Uh, it's not in this variety. I don't know. And, and besides baby right. formula and breast milk and yeah, bottles, yeah, uh, what do you have? Yeah, the Similac the, world. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the prune uh, smoothies <laughs> that we have in there. Yeah. Um, I have, yeah, I've got some Pognog in the fridge. I've got one bottle of High Life and Two, unfortunately, old cans of Von Trapp Vienna Lager. Ooh, that you can't get anybody to drink, right? <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I just... I, Invite me over. I love that beer. You know, I, I, I just haven't gotten around to it, but they are still there, and I'm sure they're still amazing. Oh, going to be. Awesome. Yeah, that's Question two. two! All right, so... <laughs> You're throwing a party. Do you, do you remember question two? It's, you're throwing a party. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I mean, you were, I thought that's you were what I'm doing right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing question two at Ben's bar. No, but all right, so you're, you're going to throw a party. Sure. And you have to pick what is going to be your dad light and your mom light for the crowd. Mm. And what are your stars? What are what are you going to bring out? Do you guys have match? a strategy? Like yeah. How do you pick beer for a party? Um, I try to simplify the situation because it's kind of like you give too many options for people, they're just going to end up browsing through all the options and not know what to pick. Yep. Uh, you have two to three options. Yep. Lower alcohol because you want them hanging out, having a good time. Like a time session time. IPA. You don't like want a session. Out. Yeah. <laughs> right? uh, but I always like to do like a nice uh, Miller Light as my yeah, dad yeah. light. Yep. Okay. And fair, then fair play. jump it up to a little bit classier threes Valite right Ooh. here. Fantastic beer. So it is Valite. It's not Valite. There's, there's a lot of well, That's what we've been saying. Yeah. So I don't know. We've it's been saying Valite. Yeah, I I think that's that's the yeah. way. It's I'm gonna trust it's French. It's yeah, French, so you can just say it anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can just go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then uh, you know I like cool. to throw in like a pale ale or a session IPA for sure. Um, it's yeah. it's got the crispness. It's got a little bit of that extra like bite that a lot of people are looking for when they go and they don't want to just sit there and just crush beers. They can you know feel a little bit right. cool about themselves. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. right. Yeah. Um, Fresh. Yeah, I mean, Fresh. honestly, this was going to be on my list before I saw that it was here, so it's a really fantastic yeah, perfect. session. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, What's, yeah. What's your delicious. strategy, Mr. Doug? It's actually, it's very similar. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I would do, I would say three to four, but still in that range, you simplifying options for people. You have, like, a lighter option, um, you know, your, your pale ale. Maybe you throw in like a Belgian or or saison. Maybe or an Allagash like White. Ooh, it's yeah. perhaps you know? it's one of oh, our yeah. favorites. Right? Yeah. Honestly, I mean that's I, I I brought some beer today. I mean that's kind of what I did. I brought some bleep, brought some pognog, brought a awesome Hefeweizen from Urban Chestnut called Snickle Fritz. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. I haven't had that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, extra dry from Stillwater. That's so a sidecar. You're just yeah. trying to, to give. Yeah, some There's sidecar. Yeah, sidecars, sidecar. please, sidecar. Mike. Sidecar. Neighbor Mike, yeah, sidecars, the Heffenweizen. Yeah, is that what it's called? <laughs> is it called the Heffenweizen? Well, it's the the style or the beer itself. No, it's it's a Heffenweizen. The style. Wait, Hefeweizen. 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 Yeah. 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 Hefeweizen. 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 Yeah. Hefeweizen. Yeah. Hefeweizen. Yeah. There should be sidecar Hefeweizen. Yeah, please. Yeah. Well, Mike, yeah. get up with your ass. Are you going to go get one? I don't know they are. They're in the cooler. All right. <laughs> All right, man. All right. That's what we do here at Fence Bar. We just yeah. uh, so, people I mean, just wander it's off. It's trying to give people enough option where they can find something that they like, but not too much option where they're right. struggling to make a decision. And it's yeah. and you know, you just want people to have a good time. You're you're hosting somebody. You're bringing people over yeah. so they can eat a pig head. It's not. Am I right, people? Yeah. 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 Go backyard barbecue. You know, it's 
there's time and place to, to think critically and about beer. Yeah. yeah, and then there's the time and place just to enjoy the company <laughs> that you're with. And so that's, I think, kind of our strategy. Well, you've also that's created awesome. an amazing place at Beer Noggin, so you don't have to have the parties because you're running the party yeah. at 255. Yeah, just right. go to your business, right? We salute awesome. you in that. Yeah. Congratulations on three years ahead of time. Amazing. Uh, please just tell everybody where Beer Noggin Look is, how camera. they could get there, and where they could find you either online or in person. Excellent. Uh, we are at uh, 102 Craft Ave in Bronxville, New York. Um, we are uh, we're on the Metro North uh, with the Harlem, Harlem line, line yeah. um, at the Bronxville stop. Yep. Literally, you can trip down the stairs and roll into our front door, and we're across the street. I think Here's I did that. Hold on, hold on. Here's a question. Somebody drank all the Hefeweizen. Oh, oh. What are we drinking? It's Pognog. 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 Yeah. Can we sidecar? We need Pognog? sidecars. Yeah, yeah. We don't have sidecars, though. You know we what? mistakenly didn't have sidecars. I know. We were too into the sessions, drinking yeah. out of cans. It's the first time yeah. we drank Well, you know what? Cans. A sidecar can also be passing the can there to you your go. homie on the right. It doesn't never <laughs> happen to you, you know? It's a share. That's juicy. We are online. We're on Facebook, Instagram. And Twitter as well. We have a website, beernoggin.com. Me, baby. Um, just Google Beer Noggin and you'll find us. Guys, this was yeah. awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. We're so glad that you guys are a part of our community now. No, wait a minute. We had one question we didn't ask. Oh, it's question three. It's question three, oh, man. Damn. Damn. Only one of you myself. can answer because we're running along. Duh. Duh. What is your most definitive moment in beer? It doesn't. It could be good. It could oh, be bad. Man. It could be first like kiss. Little Susie gave you a, <laughs> a natty cute, light. You puked right. all over yeah. her pretty dress. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I the, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Well, I I got into beer. Uh, thankfully, I was fortunate enough to go and study abroad, uh, and I did a semester in Belgium. Uh, at the time, I was not a beer drinker. Okay. I didn't know How old were you at that time? Uh, Twenty. 20 years old. So you could legal to drink there. Yes, legal to drink there. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, and it was it was I think the second that I was there, our our like uh, mentor leader guy who kind of took all of us students around, he took us to his bar, and that was the first time that I had beer that tasted much different than yeah. the lion's head light yeah. that you and I were drinking. Oh, <laughs> Jersey yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it was like. Yeah, it was. There were some lambics involved. There were some traffics involved. And but it goosed it out. On, yeah, yeah, honestly, like I didn't know at the time what type of effect that would have had on my life, um, but it has had a significant effect. And uh, I just remember being in that in that bar, which was really weird. It had these like marionette puppets hanging from the ceiling, and a couple of creepy, bizarre <laughs> like crossbows on the wall. It was cool. weird. Belgians are weird, but it was weird. <laughs> a bit creepy. Yeah, um, but I, I just remember being there and being like, wow, this 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 is so different than what I've ever experienced and, and it could be. That was amazing. That's awesome, man. That, 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 that was a good That memory. was great. Thank yeah. you for that, Doug. Hey, my you know, oh, Thanks for bringing that, Doug. Hey, we appreciate it. it. <laughs> and, and you guys are going to get your Paul Pass later. Uh, so you'll be part of uh, the official yeah, and defense party. Everybody exactly. else who's here, just make sure you don't go until you, can't you leave get your, your Paul Pass, pass people. Right? So if you're leaving, If you know what a Paul know. Pass is, ask your neighbor. Yeah. If they don't know, ask them to ask their neighbor. Guys, so this has been awesome. Uh, we can't wait to come back to Beer Noggin. We can't wait for yeah. you guys to come back up here, and we're going to do this often. Awesome. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you so much. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. What are we talking about now? I think it's time to talk about Beer Brains. Beer Brains. Beer Brains. Beer brains. Dude, Beer Brains is uh, basically when the whole fence bar thing started, Sean would tell me all about beers, whether I wanted to hear it or not. Well, uh, he wanted to. But some of it was really interesting, and we've talked a lot about uh, lately... The lighter drinking, spring we and did the summer. We talk about saison, the sours, we talk about sours, lower alcohol uh, <laughs> beers to a certain extent. And every beer always starts off two ways. It's either an ale or a lager. That's it, right? Ale, fermenting, ferment from the top. Lager. Lagers from the bottom. Every beer starts from. And there. They go what? They go. <laughs> they fart out CO2 and alcohol. Awesome. So what are we talking about today? Well, Memorial, Memorial Day, Day, right? So uh, Memorial Day, at least in my past, has always started early and ended late. And the only way that you can make yourself <laughs> go through it, well, that's 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 true. But Memorial Day, especially, I start early. So I want to have a good dad or mom life, mm -hmm. right? So earlier we had uh, all of those uh, twelve packs that were out, the classic dad life. The classic mom lights. They're in they're in uh, cans, sure. people. Yeah. You don't need glass fancy glassware. They're a beer that's gonna be under five percent. Today we're talking about session IPAs. Session IPAs. Session IPAs, my man. They are IPAs that are under five percent 
alcohol by volume. But why why are they called session IPAs? Because we know session as some other thing where you kind of get your friends together, have uh, a session. Well, sessions go. There's a lot of different things that people think about what is a session beer. But uh, I think my the way that I understand it, um, and you can fact check me all you want, people. <laughs> um, it's World War One. Uh, in in England, England. Old, merry old England. Hello, we've got, we've got two English people over there talking. Hello. About the show. So you um, remember back hello. in World War One when uh, all those crops were not in those guys from uh, the turkeys and whatnot? Yeah. Oh, uh, that was terrible. Um, basically, you were allowed to drink on the job. So you were, you had four uh, hour sessions that you were allowed to leave the factory where you were manufacturing bullets and tanks and all of these things for the war effort. Um, and you had to make sure that the workers who was working on the, in the industrial age, that's how the industrial age started, people, um, they still wanted to drink their beer, but they did not want to drink a porter. They didn't want to drink a stout, which would be a, a higher alcohol beer, so they made a session ale, which is a classically called now a bitters. Uh, an English bitters is a, or a cask ale or a real ale where you're going to do the fermentation inside the actual cake. And they're lower alcohol. Those were between two and a half and like 3.8 percent. So, so that is a session. Leave it to the Brits to come up with a beer where you can drink on the job. And, and still make bullets. And, and still make bullets. <laughs> yeah. um, Fight the war, I think. You know, saying, right? Chip chop. Chip chop. <laughs> they're still talking. Yeah, they don't care. Um, anyway, what uh, what kind of sessions do we have out here? So session IPAs are a new thing that have kind of come on the scene in the last seven years. Um, I would say that uh, prior to seven years ago, uh, session IPAs were called pale ales. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, because pale ales are a lower alcohol, easy drinking ale. The difference is that the session IPA came about, uh, and really, where's the uh, all day? All day and uh, Lagunitas, Daytime were kind of the two big production uh, beers that were sub 5% and they were all about crushing IPAs. So these guys basically started the session rebirth yeah. and they were the first two to do it. And it was an East Coast, West Coast thing. You were telling me it was a little bit like... There was a little bit of a little pressure on. on that. Although the first one that I ever saw, this is a fun story, there's a brewery out of Michigan called Kunin. And there are these two brothers and they make really high alcohol beers. Like, they, I think the, their regular beer to people in is 10%. Yeah, they're in the Upper, in the upper Peninsula. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, no, you don't, because you're in New York. You're probably in Jersey. Anyway, uh, so, but they made a beer called Fluffer, which was their attempt at making a very easy drink in IPA. It was a 4.5% IPA called Fluffer. And uh, I thought that was genius. And then Daytime came out from Lagunitas, same time as uh, All Day from Founders. And pretty soon we've got a segment where every brewery in America is making a session IPA. Sweet. So this weekend, the, the fence bar tip is go out and get some session IPAs. Because they're all under 5%. They're all going to be over 40 IBUs. I know we don't need to talk about the bitterness. It's all about the hops. Like uh, the difference between uh, pale ale for example, and a, uh, a, a IPA, or a session IPA specifically, is these are going to be dry people. They're going to be hop forward. They're crushable. They're aromatic, and they're lower than 5%. So if you, uh, if you see a session IPA, a lot of silence right there. Actually, I was going to get part. it down in one. One gulp. That was horrible. To. You did not crush that. <laughs> no, I didn't. You, you did the opposite of crushing. Like, 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 what's going on? Yeah, that's right. So um, that was awesome. Thank you for that. Sure. Um, Session IPA from the world. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Fresh beer inspector. What do you got there, Fresh Mike? Fresh beer inspector. Got some pog what's the date on that can, Mike? Five nine twenty eighteen. May 9th. Well, what's today's day? May 24th. 4th. So that's pretty good. That's pretty fresh. So, tell me, what's up with this, this sidecar here? Pognog. Actually, I already have some in here. Uh, yeah, dude, our dude. guests today from Beer Noggin, they did a partnership with uh, Decadent Ales uh, to make an IPA called Pognog. And Pog stands for passion fruit, orange, and grapefruit, I believe. Um, and it was a concoction of juice that Doug got on his honeymoon, and he wanted to recreate it. So uh, that's what our sidecar is today. Yeah. Hog nog. And you can only get it right now at Beer Noggin. But I, he I heard, I keep my ear close to the uh, to the ground in the beer world, because they might be making that into a full-time beer, because it's so good. Sweet. 
Dude, did you see this, by the way? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff Vader made this for us. Yeah, neighbor Jeff, neighbor Jeff, neighbor thank, Jeff you thank you for you so this much. very generous gift. You actually hammered this with your own hand this morning, and it works both ways until four. Yes, it both. Was so you can open Ford? it that way, or you can open it. It was Ford that way. Thank you. Forged in fire. Um, so let's bring neighbor Phil on and let's talk about the farm because. Farm life. It's, it, 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 we need to know. Oh. The great thing about living in Westchester is that we have access to local farms and people that are making the your world better by producing educational information. Come over here a little closer I'm there, sorry, Billy. Sorry. Your hair, your hair is is, is over I'm there. I'm blocking you. No, you're good. Yeah. Your hair's no, not that. Big. That's not that sorry. big. Uh, but that's why we have Bill come over here because he can tell us what's happening at the farm on May 24th. So what's happening on the farm? May 24th. That's Today or tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> I don't know the today. date. See, that's, that's farm life. That's no, farm we, life. we really want to know what, what what's going on at the farm this week. Uh, we talked last week. It was all about the ducks coming in. You got the shipment of the ducks. Uh, you have to go to the cinnamon. Post, you have to go to the post yeah. office to pick up the ducks. Yep. Um, what 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 animals did you pick up from the post office <laughs> this week? <laughs> well, no no shipments through the post office this week. Uh, we did get some goats on a. A uh, large trailer and okay. piglets. Nice. Goats so, and piglets. Yeah. So, so you guys get uh, goats and piglets. How does that work? Um, you work with other farms, and you need those animals to manage the land, or exactly. Yeah. So, you know, the whole principle in the farm is to use the animals how they fit in the ecology of the land. So. You know. So the ghost clear that's a that's a clearer, right? He's right. going through and he's getting all the cut, he's opening up uh well, new, they, new they really like to browse, right. So they're gonna clean up all the like thick woody type plants. Yep. And then the pigs will disturb the soil mm. you want to plant stuff. Because they shit a lot. They, I mean, they right. turn the soil and they dig it well, up. Well what's cool them. about pigs is they can basically eat like anything you feed them. Mm. Yeah. So you can, can goats too though? No. Goats don't have the same digestion, really. So pigs are animals. Yeah. They, they crush. We had a great pig today. Did you have some of that pig? Very, very good pig. Where, do you know where that pig's from? It's from a New York farm, right? Because it's from uh, uh, Campbell Me- Meats. Mealy Farm? Mealy Farm, yeah. 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 Amazing, dude. That's a delicious pig. It's fed a lot of people here. It still is. I think, is. I think there's still neighbors. some pig left. Yeah, Yeah, man. Yeah, that's what's cool about pigs. They are huge and provide a lot of food for people. So. Delicious food. Dude, that's awesome. So, um, uh, it, besides the uh, the goats, um, is there anything else going on exciting at the farm that the people should know about? Um, well, more baby lambs. We baby have... lambs! Wait, yeah. hold on a second. So you guys had baby, baby lambs, lambs like about a month ago, and now you have more baby lambs? No, they just got a little bigger. They no, no, babier? we got two sets of lambing season. Two here. sets of lambing wow. season? Yeah. So, so two, two flocks? Uh, wool sheep, produce wool. They land in March. Okay. Now we have our Katahdin and hair sheep flock. Say yeah. that again. Katahdin and hair sheep. Katahdin. Hair sheep. So yeah. Katahdin hair sheep. Katahdin and hair sheep. They shed their coats. They don't need to be shorn. Shorn like a wool sheep does. So. Seems a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> Less maintenance. Why don't you get more of those sheep? <laughs> What's the downside? Well, so uh, the wool sheep have like a stronger lamb flavor because of the lanolin. Coats. You gotta work for that good meat, man. Yeah. Well, but yeah. you want that strong meat, lamb flavor. Yeah. You gotta shear that sheep. Shear, shear, shear short. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, the, so, <laughs> so the sheep are lambing um, this week. Well, yeah, the hair sheep are lambing, and then cattle coming in next. Week. Oh, cattle. that's exciting, dude. So maybe we could talk about that in two weeks. Yeah. On yeah. The next farm life with what's happening with the cattle. Yeah. I love it. Is there, is there a relation? Beef. Talking beef. Yeah, it's talking beef. For dinner? beef. We haven't had beef at, uh, at Ben's bar yet. It's been all pig. been pig. And lamb. Uh, well, there's been some burgers. They have nice beef burgers. Yeah, yeah. lamb. Oh, yeah, salad, definitely, definitely. That's a lamb shoulder. Awesome, man. So uh, we'll uh, bring you back uh, next episode, and we'll talk about the cattle. And thank you for doing what you do. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Uh, dude, is that the article about Chris McGarrah? Uh, Chris McGarrah. He's been, he keeps saying he's going to show up here. He hasn't. He hasn't. Well, let's read about him. What's, uh, what's we can't. We got too much talking about the what? Wait. Beer report. The beer report. The beer report. It is the it is beer report. report. Thank you. Thanks for I'm that sorry, contribution, I'm sorry. I was too busy Mike. watching Edible Westchester and finding out all of the hot tips from Westchester and whatnot. <laughs>
Uh, anyway, Beer Report. Beer Report. What do we got going on this week? So beer, beer Report is when we talk about what the hell's going on this weekend and what we're or doing. Or the next month. And this is that because not everybody's going to watch this tomorrow, Sharif. Yeah. Maybe they watch it in two weeks. We want to be current. Let's let's talk about something that's going to happen in 20 years, just in case someone... <laughs> I am going to have no more now. children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so watch that all you want. All right, what's going on? Uh, actually... If you do watch it tomorrow, <laughs> I've got some exciting things, because there's two things that I want to talk about. One is Sing Sing Kill, uh, our localist brewery. This is for our live audience, this everybody. Is, they, they are opening tomorrow at 5 o'clock at 75 Spring Street in Austin. Yeah! yeah. Woo! 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 Let's, we're going to be there. Fetch Bar is going to be there. Support local. We're going to be there early. They open at 5. We're going to be there at 4.45. Just look, knock it. Fizz, I'm going to have to support now? local tomorrow. How about now? Kills opening. How about now? I'm just going to have to yeah. support local tomorrow. How about now? And then after that, Bye. we're going to Green Growler for it's their seven year, itch. seven year itch. It's the 25th of May, people. It's happening. Woo! Uh, Yay! Yes. Everybody, we got it. We got to be there. We're gonna be coming. on. It. We're coming. We're gonna be celebrating that to the the, the finest time. Yeah, bring your ointment. Uh, uh, or bring your uh, Vaseline. Vaseline. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> beer noggin. Also, as they said before, they're having their three year anniversary June on 23rd. June twenty third. So we're gonna be going there. But there, I just heard about this really wicked cool thing. I might have been in the back of Edible Westchester. I'm not sure. But I, 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 I Julia Sexton write about it. Uh, I think she might have. I think, was it? Was it you, Sexton? Was I it you, so. Sexton? No. You know what? It was Jeff Vader. Jeff. Jeff, could you please come up and tell us what's happening? I want to shake a blacksmith's hand. <laughs> Look at that fucking hand. So Jeff, you uh, you, you, hand. you are a, you? you're a, you you explained your name before. You're a knight. I'm a, I'm a blacksmith yeah. and a knife maker. You're a knife maker? Yes. you got a name about that knife maker thing. Uh, what do you mean a name about that? A bladesmith? <laughs> yeah, bladesmith! <laughs> that is the coolest <laughs> world ever! Nah, it's just... Uh, <laughs> it's just blade. A smith. <laughs> I think bladesmith's wicked. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I, got a, I got a small company called Painter Knives. Painter well, Knives. We make, we make, a we custom, make knives. I make I make custom knives uh, in Peekskill. In Peekskill. And yeah. speaking of... Peak Skill. Yes. Uh, there's a big event that's happening at Huge. the Peak Skill Brewery that you're doing. Not the Peak Skill Brewery. Not the Peak Skill Brewery. Sorry. In Peak Skill, though. Why don't you tell us what right. it is? So I I'm. Uh, I got asked to be involved in a, in a, um, a project with the City of Peak Skill, the Police Department, and Factoria, and River. Outpost Brewing Company. Justin yes. Sturgis. Yes. Justin Sturgis. Yes. Man. So what, yeah. what, what Sturgis is going to do is he's going to make a, a, a beer called Peace Skill, right? Peace Skill. That's and then what on, I was on June 9th, June 9th, you're going to go to the factory and they're going to have a big a, a fundraiser. And the fundraiser, all the beer that's being sold, all the Peace Skill beer that's being sold. Peace Skill. Peace Skill beer. Yeah, beautiful. That's it. So all the Peace Skill beer is going to go to a fun, uh, to a gun buyback program. A gun buyback, people. Yeah. All right. Have mercy. All right. So, so uh, the money's going to go, and we're, and what we're going to do is we're going to use that money to buy back if you have if, uh, if at a certain point if you have uh, guns hey, can you guys keep it down back there we're trying to learn about <laughs> what's going about on guns. I'm trying to figure talking out what's guns. going on over guns. here all right so uh, don't you make have me bring out my peace skill <laughs> you can have an opportunity to relinquish your guns or hand them in guns that oh, you don't is want peace like my peace oh I didn't no. know oh, no. oh, wait, wait hold on a this second this is a terrible that, idea yeah. this no. is a thanks for coming idea. up Jeff John Van Decker, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so on the ninth, you're gonna. The, so what's gonna happen is with this gun buyback program, I'm gonna end up getting the guns with the with the help of the Peekskill Police Department. Thank you, Peekskill Police gonna, Department. And I'm gonna forge the guns down, and we're gonna make a giant sculpture out of the guns. Oh, Where's wow. it gonna be? Where are it's you gonna, gonna be at the factory. The factory. Oh, but the June 9th is the day you can go to support the event. June 9th. There's gonna be a dunk tank. And you're going to be at John Sharp's in the can dunk I, tank? Can I, can I dunk John Sharp? John Sharp will be Lanz? in the dunk tank. Louis Lanz will be in the dunk tank. John Sharp will be in the dunk tank. I'll be in the dunk tank. Nice. We're going to be hurling insults. Wait, can neighbor Sean go in the dunk tank? You, 
Yeah. That's all up to. I, I'm not. Yeah. That's not my department. That's my, my, that's right my department. Now. But it's gonna. It's gonna be a great event. You're gonna buy. You're gonna go see Justin Sturgis. You're gonna buy Peace Skill beer. Yep. And all that money's gonna go for this buyback that's, program. That's June second. Nine. June ninth. June ninth. Okay. So, so June ninth. Yes. There is a. There is an event. Great event. Yep. Where you go, you drink beer, you buy beer. All that money used is gonna be used to purchase guns, which are gonna be taken wait, by. Wait. 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 What? What? <laughs> it's not just to purchase guns. You're, we're doing a gun buyback program, it's to, so people can relinquish their guns that they're not using, or they might we're trying to take guns off the street. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. They're not just buying guns. No, that's what I meant. Right, Buy, right. Buying it's back the guns, right? Is yes. that money's being used to give people money for their guns? Yes. That's, yes. Yeah. So it's not yeah. using. It's we're not using. Ta- yeah, it's yeah. not taxpayer money. It's just, this is an event with the Lanza Foundation and the Factoria, and it's a, and it's a great opportunity. The, 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 the citizens of Peaksville are fantastic, and the, the, the businesses in Peaksville are fantastic. And we're really trying to like create something great. Yeah. So, and I was I was fired up to be asked to be involved. And as a blacksmith, what you're doing is you're manipulating material. Blah blah blah. Right. We're going to turn it into something. Else. That's so awesome. we're going to see. Yeah, it it's, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be good. Be really it'll be good. Cool. Yeah. But awesome. thank you for your um, thank you for letting me in. Before you go, yeah. tell people how they could find your work and yeah, look at the yes. camera yep. right there. Bader Knives, F E D E R K N I V E S. Get your knives, screen. people. Get yeah. your oh, knives. Yeah. Or get your bottle openers. Yeah. Opener. Deco, yeah. how many bottle openers are you buying today? Oh, oh, one. You, one? Can, you can buy <laughs> bottle openers, but I might not be you. selling bottle openers. You're like, so, right. That's right. a special <laughs> bottle opener. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate no, thank your. You. I thank you very much for letting me be here. I really of course. appreciate it. You're always here. Sure. Yeah. We've been trying to get you over here for a long time, so it's an honor, man. Thank you. I'm with you. Thank you. I'm with Jeff. Mater, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm with Mater. Mater. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Awesome, man. Thank cool. you. Thank you very much for having me here. I appreciate it. No, well, this is great. So, so uh, I think we're what we're gonna. The last thing we have to do is basically rank our beers, beers, which we're not doing. It's an Instagram so I event. Just, I can just crawl out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you just say you're yeah, awkward. Yeah, yeah, the crawl out. out. <laughs> the Homer Simpson <laughs> crawling into the. Normally, like we, we we rank the beers uh, on our podium. At the we end got of a lot it. more drinking to do tonight. Uh, we're drinking we're drinking uh, session beers. Thank you so the much. Session's not over. Thank you so much to all the the sponsors, to all the people. Make sure you're Edible, Westchester, Lex Taylor, Campbell Meats, uh, Phil, Beer Noggin, yep. Kelso, Kelso Brewing Company, Sing Sing, everybody, Sing guys, Sing thank Kill. you so much. Uh, tune in next week if you think we suck. Tune in next week if you think we didn't suck. Or whatever, we're going to suck no matter what. Mike, this is your part. Yeah, Mike, oh, give one, one job, bro. Damn it. This is my job. Yeah, here. No, fuck you. Don't be a douchebag and recycle you can. Tool time, but it's with me.